Hey friends, Omkar here for Simple Snippets. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what is final accounts, how to solve a question on final accounts and why final accounts is prepared. So here we begin. Final accounts of sole proprietor. Sole proprietor is a person who carries on business without being a firm, without being entered into partnership with anyone, so all by alone. The last stage in accounting process is preparation of final accounts. We have learned the procedure till trial balance. Now it is the final step in accounts and that is why it is known as final accounts. From given trial balance, trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet is prepared. So what does final accounts contain? Trading account, profit and loss account and a balance sheet. Trading account is prepared to know gross profit. To arrive at gross profit, goods in and out and direct expenses are considered. In profit and loss account, all expenses losses, incomes and gains are recorded. So in trading account we know gross profit, in profit and loss account we arrive at net profit and balance sheet is prepared to know assets and liabilities of a company. Assets are those things which company owns. The company has right to the property which all comes into assets and liabilities are those components because of which company owes to somebody. It contains creditors, provisions and capital. As an entity concept, sole proprietor invests capital into business and capital is a liability because for business even a sole proprietor is outside a person. So trading and profit and loss account is prepared for a period and balance sheet is prepared as on particular date. So balance sheet gives us position of the business and trading account and profit and loss account give us the performance. Finally, when we prepare balance sheet, totals of balance sheet must match because we know as per equation approach, assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Let's first learn what is the format in which final accounts is to be prepared. This is how it looks like. This is debit side, credit side, trading profit and loss account for the period. This red line separates trading account and profit and loss account. Above this red line is trading account and below this red line is profit and loss account. So there are some major transactions which always come. So before solving any question, we write those things first. So before beginning any final accounts question, you have to write this. In debit, we would write two opening stock, two purchases minus purchase return. In credit, buy sales, less sales returns, buy closing stock. Here gross profit will come. Gross profit will be carried down to profit and loss statement. So to the credit side, buy gross profit brought down. If you have observed, trading account can be termed as goods account because we are debiting whatever coming into the business that is opening stock purchases and we are crediting what is going out of business sales and closing stock will be stock which is lying as on last day which would be carry over to next account year and it will become opening stock in the debit side. So that's how trading profit and loss account format goes. This is how balance sheet look like. Left hand side there are all liabilities and to the right hand side we would write assets. There is no any debit credit in balance sheet. Now usually assets have debit balances and liabilities have credit balances and in accounting we write debit to the left hand side and credit to the right hand side. But you observe we are doing the reverse thing here. Liabilities which have credit balance to the left hand side and assets which have debit balance to the right hand side. Why would we do this in final accounts? It is because we are closing the accounts and to close accounts we have to show reverse effects. If account is showing debit by showing to the opposite side we can say that it is equated and account would be closed for that year. So this is the logic behind why we show liabilities on the left hand side and assets on the right hand side. So let's take an example on final accounts. Following is the trial balance of Amir as on 31st March 2017. Trial balance is given with debit and credit and all the components and some adjustments are given. Before solving any question of final accounts, first read adjustments and mark accordingly on trial balance. This is how it goes. Stock on 31st March 2017 was valued at 53,000. This is adjustment for closing stock. We would handle it later on. 
salaries have been paid only for 11 months so here we would go in trial balance and cross mark salaries unexpired insurance included in figure rupees 400 appearing in the trial balance is rupees 100 so insurance premium commission earned but not yet received amounting to rupees 422 is to be recorded in the books of accounts commission earned furniture is depreciated at the rate 10 percent per annum furniture after crossing the components we would start one by one consecutively now capital account 80,000 capital account is balance as on particular date and this is as on last day 80,000 it is liability for business it would go to the liability side so we would come in balance sheet and write capital 80,000 drawing account 6,000 drawing account is nothing but withdrawal of capital by the proprietor it would reduce capital so we would deduct from capital account less drawings 6000 so net capital would be 74000 stock as on 1 4 2016 45000 this is stock which is on the first day and that is opening stock opening stock would go in trading profit and loss account stock 45000 purchases 260000 it pertains to goods and it would go in trading profit and loss account to be precise trading account purchases 260000 sales 310000 so in the credit side we have written here already 310000 furniture rupees 10000 and there is one cross mark which is for adjustment so while writing furniture below furniture we would give some space for adjustment and we will leave double of cross mark minus one lines so here is one cross mark into two that is two minus one that is one line we will leave for this so furniture it is asset how would you classify it will come in trading account profit and loss account or balance sheet it is simple if it is real account and it does not pertain to goods then it would mostly come in asset side also if it is personal account and if it is money is receivable from someone it will come into the asset side and vice versa so next is debtors here money is receivable 40000 so it is asset debtors 40000 freight and octroi 4600 freight is a direct expense all expenses come into the profit and loss account but as freight and octroi is a direct expense directly related to goods which come into the business it would go in trading account to freight and octroi 4600 trade expenses 500 it would come in pnl account debit side debit all expenses and losses to trade expenses 500 salaries 5500 and there is one adjustment so two salaries 5500 and one line for the adjustment rent 2400 rent is an expense so debit in profit and loss account to rent 2400 advertisement expenses 5000 so to debit of profit and loss account to advertisement expenses 5000 insurance premium 400 with one adjustment to insurance premium 400 with adjustment commission 1300 to the credit side hence it is commission earned credit all incomes and gains with one adjustment so to the profit and loss account to the credit side by commission received inner column 1300 discount 200 in the debit which means it is an expense or loss you can say to discount debit all expenses and losses rupees 200 bad debts 1600 bad debts is a loss to business so to the debit of pnl two bad debts 1600 creditors 20900 creditors we owe to creditors personal account it would come in balance sheet creditors 20900 cash in hand 5200 it is a real account we own our cash it is an asset for us so in debit to the asset side of the balance sheet cash 5200 bank 5800 bank to the asset side 5800 goodwill 20000 goodwill is an intangible asset and in this case it is purchased by the company so it would definitely appear into the balance sheet to the asset side because company has right as it has purchased it so goodwill to the asset side 20000 now we have given all effects to the trial balance one thing you should remember trial balance 
any component in the trial balance would always have single effect in the balance sheet trading account or profit and loss account why because one effect already exists into the accounts and for finalizing accounts we have given second effect and you should note that adjustments will always have double effect because these are the adjustment which are not there in accounts and we are incorporating freshly into our final accounts so here we begin with adjustments stock as on 31st march 2017 was valued at rupees 53000 31st march 2017 is the last day of accounting year and it is valued at 53000 this is nothing but closing stock one effect would appear as we have written here already trading profit and loss account to the credit 53000 and it is an asset to business so in balance sheet it would appear as closing stock Fifty three thousand salaries have been paid only for eleven months. So now we would first go to salaries. Salaries are five thousand five hundred, and these are for eleven months. Now, as you know, we follow accrual concept in accounts, which means all expenses and incomes are recognized into our accounts whenever they occurred and not when they are realized. Salaries five thousand five hundred for eleven months, which means for one month it is five hundred. Five thousand five hundred divided by eleven. Now accounting year fees is for twelve months. So as per accrual concept, profit and loss account should show expense of twelve months. So to show expense of twelve months, we will have to add outstanding salary of one month, which is nothing but five hundred rupees. So here comes the total of six thousand for the year. Now this outstanding salary we owe to someone, that is to our employees. So it would appear on the liability side. Outstanding salaries amount is five hundred rupees. Unexpired insurance included in the figure of four hundred appearing in trial balance is rupees hundred. Now insurance. we have recorded in the debit side here now this 400 also include unexpired insurance which means insurance of rupees 100 which is unexpired is for next year so that should not come into this year as expense so we would deduct unexpired insurance of rupees 100 and our expense would come to 300 and this rupees 100 is nothing but our asset because we have right to claim it as it is unexpired insurance as on 31st march 2017 rupees 100 commission earned but not yet received amounting to rupees 422 is to be recorded in the books of accounts which means commission is accrued of rupees 422 and as per accrual concept we would add it because we have earned a commission though we have not received it yet our income from commission is not only 1300 but 1300 plus 422 which is 1722 rupees and this is receivable commission So in the asset side outstanding commission rupees 422 furniture is depreciated at the rate 10% per annum what is depreciation depreciation is permanent wear and tear in the asset of the business it is permanent reduction in the value of asset so furniture less depreciation at the rate 10% which is 1000 and here in outer columns come 9000 and depreciation is loss to business it would come in debit all expenses and losses into pnl side to depreciation rupees 1000 so we have given all the effects for adjustments and we have done with trial balance effects also it's time to close the statements first of all we would close trading account then profit and loss account and then to balance sheet first we would take the amounts to outer columns before totaling 2,60,000, 3,10,000. ,00, Now take totals to both sides 3,9,600 and 3,63,000. Credit side is more so we would write 3,63,000 on both the sides. 3,63,000 minus 3,9,600 which comes to 53,400. This is our gross profit carried down. So by dealing into only goods and deducting direct expenses we have earned our business have earned for the year 53400 before expenses and losses and incomes and gains so we would write this 53400 right here we take totals of both the sides 17000 55000 122 
so higher total on both the sides 55,122, 55,122 minus 17,000. 38,122. This balancing figure is net profit. So, to net profit, by carrying out business, it has performed 38,122 positive on the funds invested by the proprietor. So, this belongs to proprietor and that is why business owes proprietor rupees 38,122. So, we would write this amount in balance sheet to the liability side, profit and loss account 38,122. Now, if we take totals to the both sides of balance sheet, the total should match, the total must match. So, let's take totals. Liability side have total of 1,33,522 and asset side have total of 1,33,522. So here the total is matching. If total doesn't match, then there is some difference. Then there is some error which we have encountered while solving profit and loss account. Then we would have to go all over once again to each component and check trading account, profit and loss account balance sheet for the effects we have given. So this is how final accounts is solved. That's all guys for this tutorial. Like our videos, keep sharing them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.